Right, Russ, is FA Cup. Every player seems to enjoy playing in it. Are you the same? Definitely. Um, having missed last Saturday as well, I've got that extra bit of, uh, of readiness just to get out there and, and get going again. So, yeah, absolutely buzzing for this weekend. Yeah, when the manager first signed you a couple of years ago, he said you, you, you'd pick up your suspensions, but you wanted a bit of extra bite. But you, you managed to get through the whole of the last season without one, didn't you? I did. Um, and, it, and, it, and it worked well. Um, you know, I think having the players around you and that helped me a lot and we just had a different style of play and, and this year, you know, unfortunately we missed last week but we got the three points so, you know, it, it's worked out well really. Yeah, do you, do you think you've, you've you've changed as a player? Do you think you've you've sort of taken out, you've got the right balance between aggression but not obviously getting yeah, too far? Yeah, yeah, you know, I think I've always been pretty similar, just get around the pitch and, and just work hard really and put my tackles in. I said in upstairs in the game the other day that... Um, you know, it's one missed time tackle every three games for, for a centre mid. That ain't, that's not bad, really. So, um, you know, I'm not going to change the way I play. If I pick up bookings, it's so be it. Yeah, what was it like watching last week? Because obviously you frustrated, wanted to play, but it's a decent performance, wasn't it? Yeah, we were frustrated, especially first half. We didn't really get going, but as soon as we got the first goal, we, we were tremendous for the for the rest of the game and thoroughly deserved the win. Um, but yeah, like, like I said, I'm just ready to get back now and, and back playing. Yeah, what are you expecting from Yate on Saturday? Um, it's their cup final really um, we were in that position against Tottenham a couple of last season and it be pretty similar to that for them really um, you know they'll work hard and they'll come out the traps flying so we've just got to be professional and, and, and work hard as, as we have done all season and you know hopefully we'll get the result yeah there's a few lads here who played non-league football do you think that'll just help with the, you know, make sure you show yeah, full definitely. respect yeah um, you can't take no one for light at the end of the day they beat top of the league conference which is only a league below us over two legs, so um, they're no mugs. Um, they bring a good crowd, and you know they'll be right at it. It's the, it's the first round of the FA Cup, which everyone knows about, and we've just got to be professional and do our job thoroughly. Yeah, when you go back to your non-league days at Kiddie, and did you have any any upsets? We we on the right end of a, of a giant. Yeah, killing? to be fair, we actually played a team in in um, in Yates League, uh, what they called Curzon Ashton, equivalent to them anyway, and, and they bought a load and. You know, it was nil-nil for the first half an hour, and a bit nervous. But as soon as we got the goal, we settled down and, and got the win. But you know, just FA Cup, it's just it's just great to be in. You know, you get your team on the on match of the day on the night, and it's just it's good all round. And we've just got to be professional. Yeah, and you had to do it the hard way last year to get to Tottenham, didn't you? Uh, Tranmere away, you, you were going well in League One at the time, and then Luton away, obviously yeah. difficult with their their fan base, and you, you earned that third round last season. Didn't yeah, you? It, was, it was tough, and we definitely deserved the uh, the Tottenham tie, having beaten them too. Um, you know, in this year, it's a different approach, but you've just got to beat whatever's in front of you and, and do a job, really. Yeah, it can make such a big difference to the season for a club like Charlton, can't it, with a decent run in the cup? Definitely, and it always breathes confidence into the league, knowing you've got a nice tie, you know, in a month's time. So, um, you know, we want to keep the run going. I think we've only lost once in the last how many games, and, you know, we're on a good on a good string of form now. We're third in the league, and hopefully we can be in the next round of the cup, too. Yeah, it's a big week, isn't it, because you've got Gillingham coming up, but there's... Is anyone thinking about that at the moment? Or no, just no one's that? thinking about that because if you lose, it'd be it'd be awful going to Gillingham next Tuesday. So we've just got to got to win Saturday, and um, obviously we've got Gillingham, Burton, and Rotherham, Chesterfield, Barnet next next month, and you know it's a tough month, but you know it could be a good decider in, in how the league's going really. Yeah, and if everything goes to plan Saturday, you should have more quality. But you know you've got to match their effort, haven't you? As well, that's the, oh, probably definitely. the key. That's that's the key to anything really. Um, is your attitude uh, if we go there thinking we've already won the game that's how you get turned over so like I said it will help that we've got a few uh, old non-league faces in there who know what the score is and you know we'll go out there and, and try and, and put the game to bed Yeah, and, and league wise you're actually slightly better off than you were last year just a couple of points better off and that's pleasing isn't it because everyone yep. was happy with this stage last season yeah I was surprised really when I heard that the other day um, but it just shows how, how good of a start we've had Having played not as well as we have done, really. Um, but I think you know, last Saturday and, and Tuesday it was a good, good six points, and you know, if we can get a few more points on the board within the next two weeks, it, it'd be great. Yeah.